All right, this is Grade 3, Module 1, Lesson 19, and we are going to continue using the distributive property to uh, make sense of division. For example, let's say we have 18 divided by 3. Well, we know the array, there's going to be 3 in each row, and in this case, we happen to know that there's going to be 6 because we can see it. But if we were to cut this and use the distributive property, we could, if we chose to, uh, we could make this one big array into two smaller arrays. We could call this, uh, let's see, 12 divided by 3, and we can make this 6 divided by 3. And so what that means is using the distributive property, 18 divided by 3 really could be 12 divided by 3 plus 6 divided by 3. And the idea being this 18 is related because 6 plus 12 is 18. And then we can see that, well, 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4 because we can see 4 rows. And 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2 because we see 2 rows. So really, um, over here, we can say, well, 12 divided by 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Adding those together, we get 6. And sure enough, 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6, and we can see that in our array over here that there are 6 rows of 3. So let's put this into practice. So let's start with 24 divided by 4. And what they've done is they've taken our array and they've cut it into two smaller arrays. So the first smaller array is 20 divided by 4, which is 5, because we can see that there's five rows. And this tiny little array is 4 divided by 4, which is 1, because there's one row. So we are missing a 4 here, so that's where we're going to put the 4 there. And sure enough, 24 is equal to 20 plus 4, so we know we're doing it right. And then 20 divided by 4 is 5, 4 divided by 4 is 1, and our answer is 6. So 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6. And sure enough, the array looks like it, because we can see that there are 6 rows of 4. In this problem, Alex draws the array below to find the answer for 35 divided by 5. So he's, he's drawn 35 circles, and he's put them in rows of 5. Now, of course, we can see that the answer is 7, because there are 7 rows. But let's use the distributive property. So we know that he's begun by taking these 20 and dividing that by 5. And then he's taking these, let's see, 15, and dividing them by 5. So let's see, 20 divided by 5 is 4. 15 divided by 5 is 3. So what Alex did was he took the 35 divided by 5, and he used the distributive property to turn it into 20 divided by 5 plus 15 divided by 5. And that means... 20 divided by 5 is 4, plus 15 divided by 5 is 3, so our final answer is 7. So sure enough, 35 divided by 5, 35 divided by 5 equals 7. And that's how you use the distributive property to understand division. That was lesson 19.